Hi there. Let's calculate the same integral using uh, some universal substitution, namely 1 over x will be replaced with such integral. So i looks as follows now. It will be double integral sine of x exp dx dA. And now let's focus on this integral. There is a theorem in calculus that permits to swap the order of integration and this is the case it works. So let's assign i subscript a to a partial integral. And obviously this is an imaginary part of this integral because sine of x is imaginary part of this exponential. Okay. This integral is rather easy to calculate. We may put these multipliers together since they have the same the same base. After integrating We will have a fraction with i minus a in denominator and don't forget two limits. Evaluating in the upper limit we will have zero because we consider positive a and when x equals zero we will have x from zero which is equal one. And finally minus one over this you may rewrite in such form. And one more operation. Let's multiply both numerator and denominator by this expression. a minus i times a plus i equals a squared plus 1. So we need the imaginary part of this fraction. I put it here and this is 1 over squared a plus 1 and then we put this expression to evaluate the final result. So i equals it's left to integrate with respect to a variable and finally and finally we will have to calculate this. This is the well-known inverse tangent of a from 0 to infinity. In the upper limit we have pi over 2, in the lower limit we have a 0. And so finally there is a pi over 2. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.